Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 9th of April, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is for mes that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes. Um, heads up. Um, so I did, I did happy hour last night, which was so much fun. We had so much fun last night. And if you missed out, then you missed out. And I'm so sorry, but oh well, catch us on the next one. But, um, I did a collective reading that I am, um, publishing today, uh, around noon Eastern standard time today. So there's the, a collective reading, uh, look out for that. It's a, <laughs> let me tell you, it's a doozy y'all. <laughs> If you tuned in to happy hour last night and was able to catch it, then you know what I'm talking about already. But if not, don't worry. You'll be able to see it later on because um, I edited it last night and and uploaded it. So it's going to it's going to um, it'll be published around noon. And I'm kind of excited for you guys to see it because it's also it's a good reading, too. So like whatever. <laughs> OK, anyway, um, that's all I have. Really, I don't have anything else. So with that said, let's just get started here. Yeah, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, April, wait, what? April 9th, there it is, April 9th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm gonna give this three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got. I swear to you guys, sometimes, you know, some of these decks are really like workouts for your hands. <laughs> like this one, man. Woo. That's two. It's like, it's, it's really a challenge to, I don't think you guys can see how much I'm like really having to work to shuffle, <laughs> to shuffle these cards like this. All right. Okay, here we go. So collective message. So what's going on today, spirit, for our Thursday, April 9th, what's going on? Two of Wands, the Hermit, quarantine energy I'm hearing, okay. Um, It doesn't have to be that though. Although for some of you, okay, so the first, one of the first things that I'm getting with this is that for some of you being in this quarantine energy, if you're watching this during the time period that we're still dealing with this like pandemic quarantine situation, um, this is allowing you to get, I mean, this is exactly what we've been talking about anyway, but this is allowing you to get to the bottom of things so that you can in fact make a decision, okay? Um, and the reason why that's being mentioned again is because spirit is trying to remind you to use this opportunity that you have to really go within and make some solid choices for yourself moving forward. Okay. This, in this case, this feels like a preparate, prep, uh, a preparatory energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was immediately taken back to one of the Austin Powers movies um, where they go through the whole all of pep preparation from preparation A and of course of course they land on preparation H <laughs> and just, it was the fact that I was about to say preparation that you guys you know what I woke up really loopy this morning I woke up with a really massive headache but I'm kind of, I'm kind of in that weird, like, almost delusional space. <laughs> but 
but I'm still clear enough to do this reading for you. Okay, that's fine. Um, the second, the other thing that I'm getting with this is that some of you are struggling with making a decision and in order for you to make this decision, you have to go within. There's no other way to make this decision. There's really no other way for you to find the answers that you need in order to make the decision because what I feel like here is somebody is spending too much time, effort, and energy uh, trying to get information from the external realm or the external world instead of going within and finding out what it is they truly want, to do, what it is you truly want to do, and instead of allowing other people to guide you or tell you what to do. And then for some of you, it's like, okay, well, I'm afraid to go in, go within. Like, I don't, the reason why I'm asking all these other people for the, uh, all this external for their opinion and their guidance is because I don't trust myself. I don't believe in myself. I don't, I don't want to face what's in within so I'm not going to do it. It's like, okay, well, at, at that point, I can't help you there. I can't help you there, sweetie. Let's keep going here. A little bit more, please, spirit. Some of you are sitting on a choice. Sitting pretty in your hermit energy. Not making a big deal about anything. Just going with the flow having already made a decision and I feel like you're kind of just 10 of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Well, look at that. That's crazy. I was just talking about how some of you have made a decision and then here comes the 10 of pentacles, which, <clears throat> um, which can, which for me as a reader does represent, you know, the ending of a cycle. It can also represent, um, a journey, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> a journey, longevity, um, being in something for the long haul. And, and then the card itself says, take steps to ensure the financial security of your children and other loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. But I, what I'm seeing actually is the, um, the journey that is about to begin with this choice that either is being made or has been made or needs to be made. Now, this also could represent the fact that a situation is coming to completion for you, the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Autumn. And thus, now you do have to make a decision. And again, like we said in the beginning, the decision that you need to make is purely based on your own internal reality. You're not going to be, I, I mean, I don't know who this is for, but you're not really going to be able to find that sense of security that you need, that really, that answer that really vibes or resonates with you if you're constantly checking with the external. You have to go within. That's, that's a problem for someone going that whole like energy of going within i feel your resistance and i'm i, I mean i would need to do it because i'm literally i have half a mind to like start pulling on that but then we would need to do a personal reading uh, 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 no <laughs> but okay so let's see what else can we get what else spirit just one more okay all right so we have Unity, which is the Hierophant, and we have the Two of Cups. Ooh, oh, with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <gasps> is someone getting married? I mean, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which is which are um, two energies of um, ultimate wish uh, or, or ultimate ultimate financial security financial fulfillment emotional fulfillment family with card number 14 or temperance at the bottom of the deck i really i either feel either somebody is feeling in a really romantic energy right now and um and is like or, or, or I'll say, or someone really is thinking about making a move. I'm hearing setting the record straight, making some sort of proposal, offering something maybe. We don't have the aces, but we do have the two of cups. We have the two of wands. We have two tens, 10 of cups, 10 of some of, of pentacles. 
And then we have the Hermit and the Hierophant. And the Hierophant can represent commitment, marriage. And I guess what this, what this feels like here is somebody has some level of commitment or I want to say honoring, uh, honoring a commitment on, in some way on their minds. I'm not exactly sure they're taking action yet. I don't think I don't think you need to take action yet because right now it's about going within and finding out what it is figuring out what it is you want to do. And see, that's exactly where 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 it was coming through as stop looking to the external, stop talking to your girls, stop talking to your homies, stop talking to your mother, your brother, your sister, your father, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your grandma, your grandpa. The cat down the block. As, as Ralph Smart would say, you've got a, this, this choice of what to do here requires inner, it requires inner counsel, my friend. Even your homeboy, your roommate, your best friend, who's been like ride or die with you since y'all were in Pampers, like homie don't know what your heart knows. And I did see, I did see 1111 actually, but I, I was too caught up in speaking <laughs> before to say that you got to go within, but there is a problem there. There's a discrepancy. There are a few discrepancies I'm feeling like, okay, I want to say this and then I'll get off the whole, like, stop asking your friends for advice here because you need to go within. There's one last thing I want to say your homeboy or your homegirl, like if, if you're, if you're, if you're really thinking about popping the question to someone right now, homeboy, homegirl isn't marrying your potential spouse. So why the hell would their opinion matter in the situation? What are you asking? Oh, how I should, how you should approach them. Again, you need to go within with that one because you know this person, or at least you're the one with the connection with this person. So regardless of what anybody has to say in the external, you would be the one to know, have a, at least a bet, I sure would hope, especially if you're trying to propose or take this commitment to the next level or, or even make a commitment. I would hope you have some idea, some working idea of this person's temperament or what they like or what they would be accepting of, what would they would find embarrassing. I don't know, like, but your friends aren't gonna know that unless you're all friends with each other. Okay, that's fine, but still, you still need to go within for this. Yeah, let's um let's just start clarifying here. So, I want to start with the hermit. Let's talk about the hermit. What is this energy of needing to go within, spirit? Or should we talk about the two of wands first? Actually, yes. Let's talk about the two of wands first and then we'll get we'll talk about the hermit energy. Okay, so let's talk let's let's define what it is you need to make a decision on and then let's see why someone is having trouble going within for that, all right? So, two of wands then. What is this decision? What can you tell us about this decision that needs to be made, please, spirit? Oh, oh, oh boy. We have the hanged man. We have the lovers. We have the two of cups in reverse. We have the moon and we have the seven of wands. Oof. And we have the tower. Yikes. All right, check it out, guys. So it seems, it seems like this, this very well could be a situation in which you're trying to take your, your relationship or your commitment or lack thereof uh -huh, to the next level. So if there really isn't much of a relationship between the two of you right now, I feel like someone here is ready to actually start making moves to make it a substantial relationship, or at least to mend defenses, to rebuild the bridge, because we do have a tower moment here, okay? But we have a to the tower moment. The tower is the overall energy, right, for this 
choice that's being made here, this two of wands that we're clarifying. We have a change in perspective between, we have the hanged man, we have the lovers, and we have the two of cups, but the two of cups is in reverse. So we do, we, okay, look, check it out. We could be talking divine partners. We could be talking about uh, divine counterparts, twin flames, I don't know. We could be talking about soulmates even, it doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. But this does feel pretty romantic today. And it seems like somebody, there was a tower moment that happened. Something was destructed. Someone, I just heard someone got cut off. Okay. Um, and it, but it was a necessary tower moment because it, it, it created a situation where someone was forced to go within. I heard decided to go within. Um, was challenged with needing to go within. But there was a, there was a change in perspective here. But see, so there's a change in perspective and there's a choice that's being made. This could be a choice to end a relationship because you have the moon with the seven of wands and you have the two of cups in reverse. Or the strongest thing I'm getting here is the, the circumstance has already been deadened, like cut off. And when someone was separated from the other, this person that got cut off got a change in perspective. And now they're all like, oh shit, I choose you again, but you don't want to talk to me. Two of cups in reverse. You're actually quite secretive. You're actually keeping your distance from me. You're actually like, I don't know, maybe, the, maybe this person has blocked you. Now I see. Now I see. So let's, now let's talk about the hermit. So why is someone having difficulty going within? Do you feel like you can't trust yourself? Do you feel like your internal dialogue is what got you into this situation to begin with because you were acting from your ego? And now you have to go within and face that ego. And that's going to be a hell of a ride. Is that it? Let's see. Ooh, two of swords is the very first card that pops out. And that, my friends, is denial. Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. The reason why this person, or you maybe, should, I'm hearing, or if you, or you, if you're the cross watcher, I don't know, but the reason why this person is having tr is having difficulty going within, because there is a refusal to gain some sort of emotional balance. Um, there's a refusal to look at one's emotions. Two of Swords with the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles here is an energy of being able to stand on your own. There's an energy of independence here with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is about being a strong, well-balanced, well-grounded, uh, uh, financially abundant. This is financial dreams, wishes coming true, things like that. Um, financial independence, uh, personal independence. There's a very independent energy here with this Nine of Pentacles. And what I'm getting here is someone is refusing or having trouble going in because they don't want to face their emotions. And this feels like for it's for a masculine individual. And in order to do this, you would need to stand on your own. This is a C, but this is why the message here is you have to go within, stop asking the external, stop looking to the, to the external for your answers. You have to stand on your own. You have to come to your own conclusion. You have to be independent here. You have to do it your way, or you got to do what is best or right for you. Someone has definitely learned, and I'm going to be honest with you, you guys, I'm going to say that this is the cross watcher because I would consider, you know, those of you that watch this regularly, that resonate with these, with these energies regularly, that often resonate with the energies I'm resonating with. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the other person that you're connected to. And I don't necessarily think y'all are talking like you may be in separation or you may just not be speaking to each other you may not be on speaking terms but i feel like someone here 
this other person has really learned a very valuable lesson with this situation between the two of you. And I don't want you to think that it's, it's not necessarily over because I feel an energy of someone wanting to come back and reapproach. But they got to figure out how to do so. You have, this is what I was holding up here was unity, which is the Hierophant and in the traditional Tarot and the Two of Summer, which is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is that relationship. The Hierophant is teaching and learning in some cases. In other cases, it's an indoctrination and conformity and all that. All right, so, okay, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's talk about this Two of Swords, two, not Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here, please, Spirit? What has been learned? Ooh. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 man. Three of Cups, Emperor in reverse, Five of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles again. Okay, so this definitely is a completion of a lesson, but look, there was some fuck boy, fuck girl, third party bullshit happening here. And someone was not having it. But you see, this was an expression of emperor energy in reverse. Super selfish, narcissistic, abusive. Charismatic is what I'm hearing, sure, but basically an energy vampire. But this was the lesson that was learned here. I really, with this five of swords, I feel like somebody has come to the conclusion or come to the understanding how this three of cups energy, this third party, this, 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 this debauchery is what I'm picking up on now for the three of cups is not in any way, shape or form healthy or sustainable. And thus the lesson was learned. Ten of pentacles. The cycle is coming to completion. Keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so I'm not trying to really deal with timing, but cycles are coming, a cycle is in the process of coming to a completion. I know I can say that at least. I want to talk about this Nine of Pentacles energy here now, because see, here's the thing. In terms of needing to go within and finding your own answers in how to approach a situation or approach a person, right? If you're trying to reconcile, if you're trying to heal, if you're trying to make things better, if you're trying to make things right, if you're trying to do, you know, get back together, if you're trying to rekindle the relationship, whatever, whatever you're trying to do, it's requiring that someone go within with this hermit energy and face their emotions, get gain, get some sort of balance in terms of your emotions. Oh, God, the glare in this light is really kind of annoying me now. Anyway, get some sort of uh, emotional stability, some groundedness in your emotions and be an independent individual. Like stand on your own two feet, think for yourself, right? But someone is having trouble doing that. And it makes no, it's no surprise. Um, it's, it's this emperor individual. And I told you it was masculine, right? The emperor here is so used to conformity, is so used to working towards garnering the approval of others that they don't know how to find approval within. But this does not mean that they're not capable of it. It's just that they're not well versed in it, I guess. They don't, and in some cases, this individual may not even trust themselves. But let's, let's see what spirit has to say about this Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What do you want? What do we need to know about this energy? Being an individual, standing on your own, having your own opinion, having your own thought process, not needing anyone's external opinion or influence here. The Nine of Pentacles is abundance and it's self confidence. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands three of swords what with the chariot
okay 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 i get it i had to sit with it for a second but now i get it so there the eight of wands is representing communication the eight of cups is representing obviously walking away from something and the three of swords is what you would be walking away from there's the y'all there there is something this this situation for this individual whomever this energy is resonating with or this reading is resonating with there is so much more going on underneath the surface than just this relationship between the two of you this is like a big overarching theme or cycle closing out for this person and this could be why it's so difficult for this person to do this um, because it's a big change it's a big challenge but in standing up or being independent i'm hearing standing up for your own truth someone is actually communicating or is needing to communicate to this three of cups energy this hive mind energy whatever that is the the, the yeah the hive mind needs to communicate to them that their hearts have been broken by maintaining in this staying in this and it's time to walk away from that but you see and this is kind of how this is kind of how perfect the universe is because the universe wrapped all of this up in one neat little package that just on the surface looked like uh, a soulmate relationship, a twin flame relationship, a romantic relationship, a girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, uh, best friend, um, uh, family member, something, some sort of relationship. But this, I I'm gonna be honest, it feels mostly romantic. So it could be twin flame, it could be soulmate, it could also be karmic, I don't know. I don't know your life like that. But it feels like this relationship that someone kind of kind of is like, oh, I think I wanna rekindle this, blew open so much else. But it was meant to. Because again, the universe knows exactly what it's doing. So there are hidden gems, hidden in things that, in places that you never would have expected and you never would have seen coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the four wands underneath the chariot. I mean, come on. Okay, let's do a little digging into this three of cups energy then. Spirit, what can you tell us about this three of cups? <laughs> three of cups, please, spirit. What can you tell us about? Oh God, it's the devil. <laughs> shit with the page of pentacles all right so but but you see you have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay you have toxicity obvi obvi look it's the devil okay but you also have it with the knight of swords and what i feel like here is this knight of swords is the energy that's coming to take the devil out off with his head you know that kind of energy <laughs> <laughs> off with their heads yeah that's a good thing though um this is a process don't get don't get too excited y'all i mean i feel like i have to say that all the time don't get too excited y'all this shit is a process like let homeboy homegirl go with it, go through whatever it is they got to go through on their own time don't be coming around trying poke and prod and saying when are you gonna move when are you gonna move housing like constantly checking in no no, actually stay far away. Stay as far away as possible. Let this person go through whatever it is they're going through. Let them come to their own decision on their on in their own time, in their own way, in their own space. You ain't gotta rush anything. You ain't gotta force anything, okay? But but to the person that this is resonating for, you are on track to really make some major changes in your life. To, I'm hearing to really set yourself free. It's really what this is. Okay, we're gonna close this out with an Oracle card from the Sacred Rebels deck. Yes. 
Yes. All right. Let's see what we've got. One last shuffle. Okay. Closing message, please, spirit. Ta-da! Card number 44, visions of life beyond death. It's a beautiful card. If my camera will focus. Okay. Anyway, visions of life beyond death. Sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is real rather than what appears to be. The truth, this is true insight, excuse me. What was once, excuse me, considered consequential may soon be found to hold little consequence at all. What was once dismissed as an ir irritation or irrelevance may seem to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared, it could now be worthy of absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the being of the universal creator. This is a sacred terrain beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss, but... Wait, I lost my spot. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss. It does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, okay. This oracle comes with an additional guidance for you. You are watched over by life and held in protection. Whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you. You will prevail. If you are concerned that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path and it seems there is nothing you can do about it, don't worry. The all-seeing eye of life perceives everything, without exception. It is the universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head, but in every living cell of life itself. She misses nothing. And the truth of her vision will always be met with justice, mercy, and wisdom. This oracle is also asking you to shift your perspective and look at an issue of concern a little differently. If you don't know how to do this, simply add the following statement to the end of the... Never mind. In shifting how you look at things, the energy in what is being held changes. You can see this with people. When you shame and judge someone, they react differently to when they are loved and encouraged. They may succeed nonetheless, but the journey to that success will be different. Looking at something through the eyes of love rather than fear can help us find a w our way more quickly, easily, and enjoyably. This oracle comes with the additional message that your ability to perceive is expanding into truth. Your ability to be inspired and see the light in all things is unfolding. It must be nourished in your heart with loving acceptance because you are going to help others through your vision, your art, and how you choose to be in the world. The heal. Never mind. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.